keyword in my opinion hold on hold on before y'all get in y'all feelings i got a couple ground rules i need to lay on y'all right quick so there don't be no confusion first of all this is my top 10 in my opinion so in other words keep your opinions to yourself and don't get too emotional it's my opinion nah 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 uh -uh. it's all in good fun but i definitely welcome all the smoke so make sure you leave your boy a comment and turn them likes up let's get into it my top 10 80s horror film y'all got that let's go the first two off the rip we ain't gonna play no games so we just gonna get these first two out of the way, right? So at number one, all time, my opinion, again, I don't care, but I quit all the cap. We got my main man, Fred. Y'all know Fred, Nightmare on Elm Street. The whole entire series, one through five, because we can easily just put your favorite one through five in order, however you like it, something like the original, something like the third, something like the fourth or the fifth. You know, even the second one was a sleeper. This is that number one right here. Freddy Krueger was my man. And back then, it was kind of like Michael Jackson versus Prince. Freddy versus Jason comparisons. Because these were the two top dogs, which comes at number two. My main man, Jason Voorhees, with the Friday the 13th series, one through eight. He was cranking them boys out. Jason was out here wrecking shop on the horror, man, horror film side. Now, let's get into the number three. This is a critical one. This is a, a hidden gem for a lot of people. This came out in 1980. That's right, and this was banned in the US. I think it might have been banned in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, but it, when it was filmed, it was so controversial and so graphic that they thought it would probably be offensive to put them in all the theaters. So, coming in at number three, just based off that alone, the original Mother's Day. That's right, so a lot of you 80s babies, y'all know if y'all ever seen Mother's Day, y'all probably watch HBO Cinemax late at night that might have came on or something like that. We had the VHS. It was a must-have in the horror collection. This is a slept on. I mean, it's definitely graphic. Don't want to get into detail, but this is just something putting y'all on. If y'all never seen Mother's Day before, go check it out. Coming in at number four, Lost Boys. Of course, man, it's an 80s cult classic. Lost Boys was dope. I mean, if y'all don't know about Lost Boys, I mean, go ahead and check them out. And I mean, for some of y'all that don't know about Lost Boys or some of you 90s babies and 2000 kids, hey, Y'all wanna know what the real horror films at? 80s horror films. That's why I said 80s horror films. Some of them in the 90s was dope, but we on the 80s right now. So anyway, number five, Fright Night. That's right. I grew up on Fright Night. As y'all know in the beginning when I was talking Captain and Kyle, whatever, we was having our little break, you know what I'm saying? We was talking about Fright Night. Fright Night is definitely a cult classic and a must-see. So, like I said, this is just a list. Some of y'all, man, get your notepads out. Man, go check out some of these looks, man. I got the joints right here, you know what I'm saying? You can see the joints right here, you know what I'm saying? So, if you don't know how the movie cover looks, then go to the joint right there. So, make sure y'all go check that out, man. Show that movie some love. Some of y'all got five sticks, this, that, and the third. Some of y'all can even go rent it. Go ahead, go check that out. Anyway, okay, coming in at number six is a definite another favorite. Y'all know this guy. Y'all know this dude right here, right? Y'all already know, Child's Play. Child's Play coming in at number six. Chucky, all-time favorite, all-time top monster, whatever you want to call it. This was the guy, starring what, I think it came out like 88, 89. It was uh, definitely something out the box at the time, so y'all already know. Um, shouts out to Chucky, shouts out to the whole Child's Play series. Um, yeah, so that's number six, bam. Coming in at number seven, I got Return of the Dead. That's right, Return of the Dead. I guess it was a spinoff from Night of the Living Dead. So they came back with the 80s classic, cult classic, Return of the Living Dead. Definitely a must see, so definitely check those out. It's gonna definitely kind of get you tuned up for all the other ones that was in between. Because back then, in the 80s, there was a lot of horror films, a lot of repetitive horror films back then. Which, at the end, I'm gonna throw a couple honorable mentions down there. And there's a couple of them too. Y'all gonna say, well, y'all didn't mention that. Why y'all didn't mention that? Man, who gives a damn, man? This is something I'm basing off of. I mean, it's a lot of them out there, but we'll talk about that later. So let's get back into the countdown. We at number seven right now, so we finna go into number eight. Right about now, at number eight, The Howling. The whole series was crazy. Um, a lot of people liked the first one. A lot of people skipped over the second one because they couldn't understand it. Howling 2 was crazy to me. Actually, that was kind of one of my favorites and one of the most slept on. But the whole Howling series, we can go all day with those. So it's no telling how many of those are. I didn't really count those, but it's a lot of them. So check them out. It's a lot of spin-offs. So don't make sure you check out the original one if you don't know about the Howling. 
And then I got at number nine was definitely another cult classic out there, Cujo. That was another one that was slept on. A lot of people, you might have heard that name before, the killer dog. Y'all might have heard the name before. Poor man's best friend. If y'all know, if you 90s babies know about that, or if y'all seen man's best friend before, the killer Rockwell, whom I like to refer to as like a LeBron James prototype because he was hit with some of everything. But we don't want to get into that. We're going to talk about the 90s films. We're going to do that one next. Top 10 90s horror films. You know it's a whole overload of those. But anyway, let's get back to number nine, which is Cujo. So Cujo was the first killer dog. So anyway, coming in at number 10, the final one. That's right. This is another groundbreaking one, the first of this kind. Something you probably still haven't seen before yet, which is, that's right, an automobile. Christine, y'all already know, it's time to Stephen King. Stephen King was dropping them bombs. We're going to get to the honorable mentions right now. So it was a gang of 80s movies back then, if y'all know better. If y'all even do your research, look it up, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I threw a couple, I threw about five honorable mentions in there, you know what I'm saying, that I seen, and I seen a lot more, but it was hard. It was definitely tough. So first, I'm going to start off with Sleepaway Camp. I got to show Sleepaway Camp some love. Definitely got to show Children of the Corn some love. Definitely got to show Night of the Demons some love. Definitely got to show Night of the Creeps some love. And last but not least, no particular order at all, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, Creep Show, ladies and gentlemen. Creep Show was dope. Um, it's a lot more in between there. Like I said, man, y'all going to kill me. Some of, some of my homies even going to kill me. And you know what I'm saying? But it don't matter. This is in my opinion. And that concludes my top 10 80s horror films, in my opinion. Make sure y'all click like and subscribe. Show some love. Hit the notification bell. This is my top 10 in my opinion. Y'all already know, man. Y'all know my slogan. Keep God first, stay sucker free, and by all means, get to the money.